That's okay. Um, Got to ask you, because you mentioned this a couple of times in the interview. What's your relationship with Glorilla? I know both of y'all from the same town. Yeah. But what, yeah. Did you produce something on her album? Like, what, how, how y'all two get together? Um, Her manager, man, super cool cat, bro. Um, uh, M-Town Entertainment, man. He, um, I, I love what they was doing. Loves Glow's energy. And when I found out she was from Frasier, I just picked the phone up and was like, look, I need to produce something for her. When y'all gonna be in Atlanta? Cause I, I work out of Tree Sound Studios in Atlanta. It's been around 30 years out here. Great top notch spot to work at. So I'm out there cutting and, and, and doing my music, you know what I mean? Producing daily with my team. I got Fertile Ground Music. It's a whole production team. It's like four of us and we just go crazy. And um, so basically um, I had her come out of the studio, right? When FNF was starting to blow, she was in Atlanta. She came through and man, I just, I had our playlist ready for her. And I just hit her with, with that heat and it ended up being uh, the song, Get That Money uh, on her uh, Any Anyway Life's Great project. I produced it. So you look up, get that money on that project or whatever, man. Uh, yeah, I'm on that thing. It's a banger. You know what I mean? It's a, definitely a banger on there. So yeah, um, link with her. She is from Frazier from my neighborhood. And uh, yeah, it was just a full circle moment to be able to uh, get in there and, and, and work with her. Um, I just stopped by and hollered her when she was in Atlanta. Uh, for the tour, she was in town on the 28th of last month or whatever, and I got a chance to come through there and I brought some new some new production for her new album she's working on right now, or whatever. So yeah, just definitely just keep, you know, keep working. Like, you know what I mean? I just, the same thing I've been doing, placing beats. Now I just produce now, you know what I mean? But it's like, yeah, placing beats and giving music to artists or whatever. Like I always will do that. You know what I mean? I always will like produce for people because I like, I love being in the, in the studio and creating, you know what I mean? I love that part of it. I don't necessarily love the music industry, you know what I mean? Of the, like how people are as far as, cause I'm not, I'm on industry. I'm like, I'm just totally on industry. I'm positive. You know what I mean? And I'm just not on any of the beat or the bullshit. So it's like a lot of times, like, you know, when certain energies are going on around, I don't, I don't be around like, you know what I mean? Plus, you know, people die, you know what I mean? Rappers die. You know, and for me, I'm very aware of my energy and my surroundings and all that. So I don't I don't go give it out a lot. I go to the studio and do the work behind the scenes. You know what I mean? We were talking about COVID and about publishing in 2020. Man, uh, Bandplay, who produces all the stuff for, um, for PRE, their number one producer. I got him his, his publishing deal you know, at a Sony. Um, um, I got uh, my guy who did Snow on the Bluff, you know what I mean? Very talented producer, man, uh, out of Huntsville. Got him his publishing deal with Sony. Uh, Juicy Fruit, who does the who does the uh, P Valley intro, got her her publishing deal with Sony. Um, uh, one of the bigger deals that I was able to close was Frank Skies. Um, he owned fifty percent of that. There's some holes in this house song that was sampled by on that WAP song or what have you. I was able to put yeah. together that deal uh, with Sony and uh, got a nice nice uh nice piece off of that you know what i mean i was putting that deal together like i'm always you know trying to connect the dots and put plays together and put people together because you know sometimes that's what that's where the money is at you know what i mean and i believe anything a sell none won't so i gotta like you know stay doing that so i i stay doing those behind the scene things to connect dots and try to collect a lot you know what i mean so it's quiet money a lot of people don't necessarily know what be going on with that but like yeah i had a relationship in the line and I try to, you know, put things together to keep to keep making some money. So that's the kind of thing I like to do. You know what I mean? But just that quiet shit. I, I don't I don't like all the the loud rah rah shit. You know what I mean? Or you know, I just I just ain't into it. You know what I mean? I just like you know like just being in my own energy and being on that positive on that positive vibe, bro. You know what I mean? I just see too many people dying. You know, Gangsta Boo just died. Big Scar just died. Dolph has died. Trouble just died. Takeoff just died. You know, um, even here in Atlanta. Um, you know, Alex, Alex, his brother just, just Alex was a, good one. Uh, yeah, I know him very brother, well. Brother, his whole family, it, Mike, it, Simon, um, uh, all the brothers. I, I feel so bad for him. It's sorry, it's crazy. Broke my heart. The person who did it, uh, yeah, the, we know, we know it, the person like, who did his family. Yeah, he family too. So yeah. it's just like, it's, and then it's, it's with Shaka and the whole thing that took place with him, and is that he going through right now with that scenario. I just pray for these brothers and I just try to stay, I try to stay out the way, man. I try to stay, you know, if I, if I don't have to go or be there, you know what I mean? I'm probably not gonna, gonna be there, you know what I mean? I'd rather just be in the studio creating beats or, or making plays from behind the scenes 
or be on a movie set. You know what I mean? That's what I really enjoy doing is, is acting, you know what I mean? And learning that skill set, you know what I mean? Because in Atlanta, that's really what it is. Tyler Perry done ran up on a billion dollars out here, you know, and, and it's just a bigger, it's a bigger game and you need, everybody needs each other more in the movie business than they do like in the, in the music. In the music, it might be a couple of cats get together, they got a hit song, and they may be some real fuck boys, but as long as that song hidden, people gonna they they gonna keep doing whatever they want to do, and people gonna keep a, uh, they, they gonna they gonna uh, I guess enable them, you know what I'm saying? And and these young artists and stuff like that, but it's, I don't I don't I don't like it because they end up popping, and end up dropping, being dead, super quick. It's like for me, I just I just can't I I don't know, man. The music the music is the movies is like you can go you can do it. And you need other people. You need a staff. You need, you know, it's just like rap is more like there's like a one man band kind of vibe. Like, you know what I mean? And it's all about that that one individual. Movies is like, bro, there's so many people that you need to be able to shoot a, a major movie. And it's you just you need people, you know what I'm saying? And it's like I understand. The vibe, yeah, the vibe be better, you know what I mean? Just be a better vibe, you know what I mean? What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.